Hi students, how are you? I hope you are all good and doing well in your studies. Today, you are going to learn about reverse grouping. Firstly, let's see the procedure of reverse grouping. Label two clean tubes, A1 RBCs and B RBCs. Add two drops of patient serum or plasma in both the tubes labeled A1 RBCs and B RBCs and add one drop of A reagent RBCs to the tube labeled A and add one drop of B reagent RBCs to the tube labeled B. Mix the tubes gently and centrifuge for 15 to 30 seconds at 15,000 rpm and examine the tube for agglutination. If you see the reaction neither an A and B tube, it means the patient don't have A and B antibodies and Ebbs serum but it have A and B antigen on Ebbs RBCs. The patient don't have A and B antibodies in its serum, that's why you don't see agglutination in A and B tube. If you see agglutination in A tube, it means the patient have A antibodies in its serum as it have A antibody in its serum, it means on its RBCs, it have B antigens that's why he or she is group B. If you see agglutination in B tube, it means the patient have B antigens or sorry B antibody in its serum. As the patient have B antibodies in its serums, it means that the patient have A antigen on its RBCs and the patient as group A. If you see agglutination in both A and B tube, it means the patient have both A and B antibodies as the patient have both A and B antibodies in its serum, it means it don't have A or B antigens on its RBCs. That's why he or she has group O. Now here is my trick. That is the reasons behind why you see agglutination in B, A tube, B tube and both A and B tube and how you can interpret the results. Now here is my trick for interpretation of reverse grouping as the name shows reverse. So if you see agglutination in A tube, your brain should quickly say, okay, this group is B. Okay, likewise, you should do the same with other reactions. If you see agglutination in lab B cells, you should say that this patient is group A and if you see agglutination in both A and B 
it means that the patient is group o and if you see reaction neither in a and b it means the group is ab so you have to think reverse okay if you see glutination in a it means the patient blood group is b in forward grouping if you see glutination in a it means the patient blood group is a if you see glutination in b it means the patient blood group is b if you see agglutination in a and b it means the patient blood group is a and b if you see don't see agglutination in neither a and b it means the patient blood group is o so it's it is the opposite of forward grouping i hope you understand this reverse grouping thank you for watching this video and if you find this video helpful then do like share and subscribe my video thank you